Update 7 is finally here inside of King Legacy. And with it, they added a whole bunch of stuff, including a awakening for the Buddha fruit, which we will be doing in this video. So if you have it already and you do enjoy this video, please drop a quick like and subscribe. It is free and it does help out the channel. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's do this. So we are going to be messing around with the Buddha fruit in this video. And I currently have seven Buddha fruits, which I'm so glad I have seven because this is how many we are going to need to awaken it. There is also a few other things you are going to need if you want to get this item yourself. You're going to need to get two accessories, apparently. Maybe only one, but I think it's both. But you need to get both the hefty coat and the hefty glasses. That is part of the requirement. Now, and one more thing, because we're going to be testing damages in this video. There is a new max level. So we're going to reset our stats to put everything into fruit, sword, and everything else to go into health. We'll have a little bit less health for a bit. But let's go ahead. Let's equip the Buddha fruit. And there, it is in the shop, right? There's a sale thing going on for it. I can get it for... It's a lot of money. I do get a passive slot, though. And dragon extra. Which, that alone is pretty expensive. I'll buy it if I want it. If it's good. Well, let's go ahead and eat this. And there we go. Now, we are the Buddha fruit. And wow, yeah, that's way better. Oh my gosh, look at that. We actually, like, look like him, too, because I have all the accessories on. That's good! Okay, so we don't have an M1 with it. Because they, they also changed V1. V1 at least feels better. I think I've used it once before, and it was really bad. Let's get hockey enabled, and that should be good. Okay, let's see. So if I press X, a 10,000 damage at max. If I press stamp, 22,000, and explosion, 12,000. What was stamp again? Oh, that's 11,000. Never mind. Yeah, but no M1 with it. That is V1. V1 really isn't that good. Can I use swords while in this mode? I wonder. Nope, I cannot. Well, let's go ahead. If we interact with this thing right here. Yeah, we need six, which luckily we have. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, there we go. Now if I go ahead and talk to this NPC right here. Yeah, so apparently if, you're, if you can't do this, I think you need the accessories in your backpack. It doesn't say that you need them, but you do need them. If you are having difficulty, that's probably why. And let's see, how much does it cost? Oh, not much. 415 gems for the entire thing. Okay. Um, sure, why not? I have all the gems for it. So buy all of those. Yet again, you need the accessories. I don't know if you need them to buy or do this. I'm not entirely sure. But look, we got Unveil Your Spirit. I got a title for that. Pretty cool. Okay, let's see. So Giant Transform. Oh my gosh, that is so much better. We even have that one. Oh, even M1. We have that one, uh, like, PNG decal that even um, Blocks Fruits has. But let's see. Yeah, 4,000 per M1. That's not too, That's pretty good. We have Divine Imprint. Wow, okay, 13,000. That's pretty good. Not bad. And then we have Heavenly Shot RC. 17,600. That's actually pretty good. I like that one, too. Um, Celestial Beam, our V Attack. That is good, too. 14.9. And then Sacred Trample. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that is pretty good. That is really good. And I can move while doing that. So you can't... So you can, like, do that PvP and not be able to predict. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. This is good. Uh oh. I did not press this ability there. I just got launched. That's funny. And from what I can tell, I don't know if they're dealing less damage to me. I mean, there's the M1s, right? If I untransform, 3%, 2, two to 3% per hit. That does deal damage when I transform too. That looks like it's about the same amount of damage. Maybe less. It's kind of hard to tell because I'm dealing with percentages and the numbers keep regenerating. Man, no, this isn't too bad. I like this. Oh, you're dead. That's why I cannot deal with damage. This is not bad at all. Yeah. M1's pretty good, too. You can't use anything else while using it, sadly, but it's still pretty good. We have Buddha Orb. Uh, Buddha special ability lasts for 30 seconds. Buddha Orb reduces all damage by a factor of 5. What is giving me that? My E ability? Yeah, because I have these orbs around me right now. Oh, that's cool. What is giving me that? Is it my E ability? So if I hit with E... That didn't give it to me. What about this pack? I missed that one. What about this one? No. 
No. That one did it. Is it the M1s that are giving it to me? Yeah, there we go. We got it. That is cool. So I basically I, I take no damage. So there is damage reduction. It's just not always active. Oh my gosh. You know what the funny part about that too is? I'm currently using this one, which gives me an extra 40. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I just take no damage. That is interesting. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do any attacks for a second. I just want to see if that reappears at any time by itself. I want to know if it's from the M1s or if it's just like a 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off type thing. Yeah, no, it's not happening. So it is from the M1s. Okay. Yeah, so if I M1, did one set, nothing. Two sets, nothing. Maybe it's a damage requirement? Yeah, maybe you have to deal 40,000 damage. That might be it. Okay, so let me wait for it to go away again, and then we deal 40,000 with abilities, and maybe that'll give it to me. Let's see. So if I just use these abilities... Okay, I missed that again. Okay, maybe, there's a, maybe there is a timer. I'm not getting it again. Yeah, look, I started M1ing, I got it. Okay, yeah. Okay, so that's pretty cool. I'm guessing it's just based off of... So make sure you M1, I guess, if you're not getting it. That isn't too bad. We can also definitely increase the damage a ton with floppy glasses. It might actually be worth using this. Oh, wait. What's the run speed like? Because we're pretty slow. Oh my gosh, we keep the orbs when we're small. Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a tree. How much faster are we? Oh, we're so much faster. Can I dash while this form? I can, but it's not that much faster. You're actually faster just by walking with the glasses equipped. Oh, yeah, I didn't check this last video. Well, how much is it to upgrade floppy? Ah, it's Phoenix Spears. Not even for that much damage increase. Why? They're so expensive. Especially right now, my lord. Yeah, no, but that is really good. Very much a fan of this. I don't, I'm not, I'm not enough to, for me to purchase the bundle. I don't need permanent dragon. I have an account where I use dragon on it already too. From the uh, Kaido video that I made forever ago. And I'm not, I, I don't want the, I don't want the permanent Buddha. I might buy this though, depending on how good control is, which will be the next video. Man, oh, look at that. That is so nice. Also just, oh my Lord, it's so bright. So it's, it's for sure definitely a low-end fruit awakening because the other fruits are definitely better. I have a feeling that outside the orbs making you take five times less damage. If you were fighting at somebody using like Rumble or Gay or any like or uh, Doe or anything like that, you would definitely get killed pretty fast, I think. Especially because you can't really dash around. I don't know how much faster we are than a normal player. I mean, let's see. If we stand right here, right? And walk forward till we bump up. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. Yeah, okay, yeah. How much slower are we by just walking? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four. We are faster. We're a little bit faster. Like five seconds to get all the way there. And like four seconds there with Buddha. But the player does have the advantage of I'm dashing one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three. See, it's you're slower than a dashing player and you can't really dash with it so definitely not good for mobility the, the best part about it i would think is if you're early game if you somehow manage to get that many buddha fruits with the hefty outfit it would be really good for if you're low health because you get a massive amount of damage reduction and the abilities do have quite a bit of range oh so i just realized there's a force bar is that what is yeah it's the force bar i'm dumb okay the force bar is what gives you the protection it's not m1s or anything okay yeah see that and so now this is gonna go down for 30 seconds and then this is active i do like that buddha orb that is really cool yeah see now that's gone and the, the perk is gone yeah so let me know what you think about it i think it is infinitely better than what it was before it was so bad before you never saw anyone using it it, it just wasn't good but this one this one's definitely a lot better and if you're having um money problems you don't have a lot of gems where you could awaken it i, I would definitely get giant transformation first but i'm pretty sure that is what's giving me access to the m1 and maybe the force bar i would say also get e also but e, i think e only cost five gems oh no z only goes uh, never mind yeah e, e costs 100 z is really cheap so yeah buy z 100 that makes it infinitely better for really cheap i mean just to show if i would equip it and transform can't m1 and no bar so yeah that's like most of the fruit is the z and it's super cheap Oh, that's so good. I love that. Good fruit, though. Happy they added it as an awakening.